Saka Fest YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make this delicious brown sugar jerk salmon. darlings as promised here is that beautiful brown sugar jerk salmon recipe that you saw on top of my mashed potatoes a day before i actually wanted to upload this since yesterday but it was my four-year wedding anniversary i just decided to take a little break from social media anyway here goes i have my half salmon side i'm gonna remove it from the pack and i'm just going to cut it into some smaller pieces because this is only going to serve about three people i decided to just cut it into three however if you want to serve two people or you want to serve four you can always just cut it according to how many servings you want okay yes my loves once it's all cut and cleaned and everything because this salmon still has the scales in the back it is not skinless i'm gonna go ahead and clean it i'm gonna wash it with some cool water and lime juice and then we're gonna get started on cooking it up This is my salmon nicely cleaned. I'm just using some paper towels to pat off any excess moisture. I find that moisture in fish just makes it break apart and it doesn't hold together well. So once it's all dry, I'm gonna transfer it to a dry bowl and then we are gonna work on the beautiful brown sugar jerk marinade, okay? Guys, that looks so fresh and nice. For the marinade, I'm going in with about a teaspoon of brown sugar. I'm gonna be using my Walker's Wood Jerk seasoning, the best. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of that seasoning. If you want it a bit more spicy, you can definitely add more. I'm gonna add some olive oil and some seafood and fish seasoning, and that is all you will need. If you want, you can replace the brown sugar for some honey, but I just think the brown sugar makes it just absolutely beautiful. Once my salmon pieces have been nicely marinated, I'm going to go ahead with some butter in my cast iron skillet, allow it to just melt and brown slightly, and then we're going to go in with our salmon pieces. I'm going to be putting the skin side down because I just sort of want it to get a little bit crispy first, and then we're going to flip it over after about 2-3 minutes. My heat is also on a medium high. And yes, my love, so once this is all cooked, you will see how amazing it's looking like. I can't even begin to explain to you. I'm going to go ahead and put any leftover marinade onto the salmon in the pot because whatever buttery goodness that we have at the bottom of that salmon, we're going to be drizzling it over some mashed potatoes. And yes, you want all the flavor in there. So after about three minutes, I've just gone ahead and flipped it over. I'm going to cook it for a further two, three Three minutes again because you know salmon doesn't take that long to cook and once it's all done I will come back and show you
So there you have it, my loves. It was about six, seven minutes and my salmon is nicely cooked. Look at that beautiful brown sugar jerk salmon. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. Let me know in the comments if this is something you're willing to try. I'm going ahead and garnish with a little bit of fresh parsley, of course. I did turn off my heat and guys, this is ready to serve nice and hot. I just can't wait. So I am serving this with my beautiful mashed potatoes that I uploaded yesterday. I have some asparagus that I'm putting on the top. And yes, the start of the show is coming in. Look at that. Wow. Yes, Terry girl. You can cook now, man. Wow. <laughs> So there you have it all done wow i can't wait to tuck in try this recipe soon and i'll see you again in my kitchen next time thank you for watching bye bye